Hello and welcome to this video. So today I'll be showing you how to set up the sneaker monitors that are on my GitHub page. But before I get into it, please do like the video, drop a comment for future videos or any other features you want to see on these monitors, uh, and do subscribe. Have a look at my other content as well. Uh, I'll be releasing loads and loads of new videos and new different projects that you can you can jump on. So before I get into it, you need to install Python, and you can install Python using the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows or through python.org on other systems. You also need to have pip which is a Python package installer which should come pre-installed with your Python distribution but if not just have a Google around and you'll find a way of uh, installing, Py uh, installing pip. But once you've done those things you can then download the monitors and get them set up. So let's first download the monitors. So we can hit the green code button. Under that you can either use this link to clone it using git or we can download the zip folder and click download zip and there we go the zip folder is there I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop and then I'm just going to extract all the files here there we go and I'm gonna delete the zip folder there we go so now we've got that we can open up terminal if you just want to just quickly check if you've got Python installed you can just type in Python dash dash version give you a Python version and the same with pip Oh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, pip version. I'll give you my pip version as well. Okay, so we're going to use command prompt to set up the monitors. So what you want to do is use a cd command, which is change directories. And we're going to navigate to the directory that houses this, the, the monitor folder. So this is on my desktop. So we can do cd desktop. But maybe you might, inst might uh, download into your downloads folder so instead uh, you can do cd downloads and you might have noticed I used the cd dot dot command which navigates backwards so to uh, the directory pre the previous directory so let's go into desktop and CLS clears the screen and I want to navigate to this directory so I just click rename copy that and do cd that so I've gone into this folder here I can use dir command to list all the contents of that directory. So now we're going to use pip to install all the dependencies and libraries that are listed in requirements.txt and we can do that using pip install r requirements.txt which should install all the requirements that we need. And there we go. I've already got everything to the requirement already satisfied. If you have any yellow warnings, you can just ignore them. That should be fine. Um, if things go on later on, do uh, send a message to me through Discord and we can solve it. Once you've got all the libraries installed, we can then, I'm going to clear the screen and we can just start the monitors. But the way we do that is just type in Python sneaker monitors and it should start up the CLI. So first thing we want to do is set up the, well, first thing we want to do is configure the monitor, so that's option two. And let's configure the sneakers monitor, which is option five. So first thing it says is, so we can type in the value you want for, if you want to keep the current value, just hit enter. If you want to keep the field empty, type null. So the current value of webhook is null, it is none. So what do we want the new value to be? So the webhook you can get from Discord. So this is a Discord server I made. And this is a channel. So click, click settings, integration, create webhook, copy webhook URL. I'm just going to paste that in there. Uh, so the current value of the username is sneakers monitor. And I want to keep that the same. So I just hit enter. You can add in an avatar URL, which is uh, which should be uh, a link to an image. And that'll be the avatar of the bot. Uh, the color of the webhook you can set as well. Uh, you can change the delay uh, between requests, and this is in seconds. You can add any keywords if you want to filter through different products. So, for example, if I want to look for Dunks and Jordans, I can type in Dunk and Jordan. And if you, so, if you want multiple keywords, just space them out. But I don't want any this time. Proxies, if you have them, your own proxies, you can add them in here. And again, if you have multiple, just space them out. If you want to use the free proxy service that we've got enabled, you can just type in the country code of the uh, of the location that you want to use. You can find the different country codes. Um, so if you go onto GitHub and you click this link here, it'll take you to this page. 
under configure and under free proxies you can find a list of all the codes here and you can just type in the code there so for example if I wanted the US, US would just be US but I don't want to use any details, so details is a monitor specific parameter so different monitors might need extra things that you need, just need to let it know so in the case of sneakers you need to let it know of the location and uh, language so you can have, you have a look at all the different monitor, spe monitor specific parameters here so there's only three monitors which really need it sneakers, Shopify and Soulbox I'm setting up the sneakers one so if I click on sneakers it tells me that for under details I need to write the country code and then the language code and you can get the two letter country code and language codes here so I'm using the United Kingdom so there's a GB and then ends GB so let's do GB and GB and now it's updating so now we can go back and let's run the sneakers monitor so I can just type in one and the sneakers monitor is option 5 but you can also run multiple monitors so imagine you've set up sneakers supreme and shop uh, a shopify site you can run all three of them at the same time and the way you do that is just typing in each of those options spaced out uh, do keep in mind that you shouldn't run too many monitors at the same time because this can have a toll on your system the this running lots of monitors it uses a lot of computational power so do keep in mind that if you run this on your system at home it might stop you from doing other things we can run the, sh the sneakers monitor by typing in five and just hitting five comes up with running sneakers monitor started and we can just leave it running after a while you should get notifications coming up on your server but this will only happen once a new item has released or restock has occurred and this can happen at literally at any time so you might have to wait a while until something happens but that is it this is the end of the tutorial it was very quick and simple um, nothing too difficult again if you have any issues there is um, there is a help option that you can go and, and check but also do uh, join the sneakers and code server let me bring that out for you now so this is the sneakers and code server please join it uh, here we go through loads of different things so all the other projects that are on my github you can have a look at and also my youtube channel we talk about them here we also have the sneaker monitors so there's the guides and faqs and if you have any other issues here you can join the server and get updates on new monitors that come out for for free but also meet like-minded people and have some fun we do have a load of uh, interesting things happening with the server we've got a few hackathons and a few other things in the pipeline so do join that if you like the video please uh, give it a like drop a comment for future videos or any other features you want to see on the monitors and please again do subscribe i would appreciate it but thanks again and i'll see you next time